Abby and Brittany Hensel's anatomy is a remarkable blend of shared and individual organs and tissues. The twins each have their own distinct upper body systems. Abby and Brittany have two heads, two brains, two spinal cords, and two hearts, which are part of a shared circulatory system. Each heart pumps blood through the same system, meaning the actions of one can directly affect the other. Despite sharing blood circulation, their individual brains and spinal cords function independently from each other, coordinating movements for their respective sides of the body. Abby and Brittany each control the arm on their respective side. Abby manages the right arm, while Brittany controls the left. This division of control extends to their legs as well, with Abby controlling the right leg and Brittany controlling the left. Despite this division, their movements are highly coordinated for activities requiring both arms, such as holding objects, typing on a keyboard, or steering a car, they rely on constant cooperation and communication. They are able to perform these tasks smoothly thanks to the remarkable synchronization between their two brains and nervous systems. Their skeletal systems include two separate spines that join at the pelvis, maintaining their independent neurological functions. Each twin also has two lungs, making for a total of four. While their medial lungs are fused to some degree, the outer lungs operate independently. Abby and Brittany have two stomachs, allowing each twin to digest food separately. Their sense of hunger or satiety is unique to each twin, as the brains controlling the stomachs are independent. Abby and Brittany each have their own esophagus, which leads to their respective stomachs. This is part of their distinct upper digestive systems. Since they each control one side of their body and have separate stomachs, the food each twin swallows travels down her own esophagus and into her own stomach, ensuring that their digestive systems function independently in the upper body. Although Abby and Brittany each control their own side of the body, they experience stomach pain differently. When one twin has stomach pain, the discomfort is felt on the opposite side of the shared body. The twins share one liver, though it is slightly elongated and enlarged to meet the needs of both bodies. They have a single small intestine, which splits into two spastic peristalsis patterns to accommodate their dual physiology. Similarly, they share one large intestine, one bladder, and one set of reproductive organs. Their shared pelvis houses these lower organs and is slightly broader than average to accommodate both individuals. In terms of kidneys, the twins have a total of three. Abby has one on her side, while Brittany has two. This is a unique adaptation that allows for efficient filtration and waste removal, despite the shared urinary system. Their gallbladders are also individual, with two present, aiding in bile storage for digestion. Their skeletal system includes one rib cage, but it is widened and contains traces of fused and separate ribs to support both upper bodies. The surgical removal of the rudimentary third arm at birth left behind an additional shoulder blade. Reproductive and urinary anatomy is fully shared. They have one uterus, one birth canal, and one urethra. These organs function to serve the needs of both twins, though their control over these systems is shared and likely cooperative. Overall, Abby and Brittany's unique anatomy can be summarized as follows. Two heads, two spines merging at the coccyx, two brains and spinal cords, two hearts, one circulatory system, four lungs, two partially fused, two stomachs, two gallbladders, three kidneys, one liver, one small intestine, one large intestine, one pelvis, one bladder, one set of reproductive organs, two arms and two legs. Despite their unique anatomy, Abby and Brittany have defied the odds, living full, active lives through cooperation and extraordinary coordination. Their story remains a testament to the adaptability of the human body and the resilience of the human spirit.